Hi all of you, how to prepare for any SS 2023 October session and uh, what is the time limit from now 15 days and what all things to be done, what are the strategies and how to plan. See before we go into it, let us look into the important data from the official brochure of uh, any SS. So the important dates, uh, registration started on uh, 27th September 2023. Last date of online registration was 11th October 2023 and the status of application rejected application with the reason for rejection okay and the applicants are required to check the status through the registration status of my page after the login is on 14 10 2023 and last date for submission of the required documents for regularization of the rejected application is 18 10 2023 and last date for the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and the Government of India for the approval of regarding no objection for the foreign national, it is again 18-10-2023 and submission of a certificate for subscribe or compensatory time as applicable and performa A1, A2, A3 as per appendix is 27-9-2023. Finalization of centers and allocation of uh, the roll numbers and admit card is on 23-10-2023 and the written examination online mode, CBT mode, computer based test, it is on 28-10-2023. 2023 that is October 28th Saturday is the exam. So two important dates are 1810 from 1 1810 10 23 to submit the required documents for regularization of the rejected application and the date of the examination is on 28th October. Now the list of participating institutes from Ames New Delhi, Bhopal, Bhubaneswar, Jodhpur, Patna, Raipur, Rishikesh, Batinda, Nagpur, Bilaspur, Mangalagiri, Rajkot, Gorakhpur, Bibinagar, all from 14 institution participates from Ames, Jipmar Pondicherry, Nimans Bengaluru, uh, PGI Chandigarh, and Sri Chitra Thirunal, Institute of Medical Science and Technology, and uh, it is in Thirunadaburam. So, totally 18 number of institute participate in NESS program. Now, this is very, very important with regards to the age and AIMS New Delhi and other AIMS as a whole, the upper age limit is 35 years on 1st of January 2024 and born on or after 1-1-1989. Now, for PGA Chandigarh, the upper age limit is 45 as on 1st January 2024 and born on or after 1-1-1979. For Nimayans Bangalore, up age limit, upper age limit is 37 years on 1st of January 2024, born on or after 1-1-1987. For Chitra Trinal, it is upper age limit is 40 years and 1st of January 2024, born on or after 1-1-1984. Now, for Pondicherry, there is no upper age limit. Okay. Very good actually. So, upper age limit relaxation for OBC candidates is for 3 years. For SC and ST candidates, it is 5 years. Upper age limit relaxation for ex-servicemen and uh, commissioned officers including ECO, SSCO who have rendered or released on a satisfactory assignment with age relaxation by maximum of 5 years. Upper age limit is not applicable for sponsor candidates. Persons with benchmark disabilities uh, shall be uh, given upper age limit of 5 years relaxation for DM and MCH. For PWD candidates, as per right of person with disability, Act 2016. Newman's Bengaluru upper age limit is 37 years of 1st of January 2024, born on or after 1 1 1987. For all category candidates, I mean, UR, OBC, EWS, SC, ST, and PWBD. Very clear. Now, let us try to understand about the examination pattern. Total number of questions is 80, and the time duration is 90 minutes, and mark is 80 marks, and the language is English. And the type of is objective type of single correct answer and the correct answer will have positive one mark and the incorrect answer will have negative one third. Okay, negative one third. Now, the syllabus very, very important. The question paper will consist of questions from the general and basic component of the qualifying educational qualification from the sub speciality system or component, the speciality slash course for which the examination is being conducted. That means what they say is whatever the branch that you belong to, surgery, medicine, OBG, pediatrics or whatever the MD program or DNB or MS program you are doing. So, you will have questions from that and also from the speciality that you are going to choose what you want to do 
you will have questions from those areas. Last year statistics says approximately 50 to 55 questions are from superficiality area and 25 approximately 25 to 30 range is from the basic feeder speciality that you belong to. Now, the qualifying criteria in stage 1 is 50 percent, okay, 50 percent. Now, there is a stage 2 exam is applicable only for AIMS. That means, if you are qualified by taking 50 percent in stage 1 and you subsequently you have to sit for an interview session uh, for AIMS institution, institution allows. There are 14 AIMS institutions. For that, there is clinical examination. That is departmental, clinical, practical or lab based assessment which carries 20 marks. So, that is called stage 2 examination. So, in stage 2 also the minimum pass percentage is 50 percent. So, stage 1 and stage 2 has to be passed and then they will release a rank list that is called a AML rank list. So, there will be two rank lists. First rank list will be the common merit list and the second rank list will be the AML merit list. So, second rank list will be that will be released for the AIMS uh, particular. Those candidates have I been mean, qualified 50 percent in stage 1 and they are sitting for stage 2 of the clinical examination and uh, and the practical clinical examination and 20 marks and score is minimum has to be 50 percent there to clear and based on the highest score AML merit list will be released. So, according to the merit list the students can take up and participate in the counselling to choose between from Delhi from 1st to 14th uh, institute belongs to AIMS. Now, preparation of merit list I have said CML rank list is based on the stage 1 of the examination that is common to all and AML is after stage 1 and stage 2 exam that AIMS institution will release. Very clear. So, put together if you say stage 1 and stage 2 put together it will be 100 marks, 80 marks in CML and 20 marks from AIMS practical Viva OC sessions. Okay. Now, total number of seats this is the question that is asked to me. Sir, uh, generally uh, people say sitting for uh, any SS exam, the number of seats uh, or less. So, let me primarily prepare for NEET SS so that number of seats are uh, comparatively more so that I have a lot of chances to get into NEET SS. Try to understand before you get into such conclusions. I mean, any SS exam happens twice in a year, and uh, after the NEET SS of new NEET SS pattern was introduced of 150 questions, the number of students are appearing and taking up for any SS has drastically reduced. Okay, just try to do an analysis here. Let us see total number of seats in DM and MCH. Now look into the DM seats. I uh, mean, uh, mean DM neurology. I mean, totally 49 seats are there. Cardiology, 41 seats are there. Cardiac anesthesia, 22 seats. And DM pulmonary critical care and sleep medicine, 25. And DM neuro anesthesiology and critical care, 31. DM pain medicine, 2 seats. DM gastroenterology, 26 seats. DM nephrology, 29 seats and DM Medical Oncology 16 and DM Clinical Hematology 8 and DM Clinical Pharmacology 11, DM Neuro Imaging Interventional Neuro Radiology 11, DM Onconesthesia 14. Now, DM Cardiovascular Radiology and uh, Endovascular Intervention 12, DM Endocrinology 8, DM Addiction Psychiatry 8, DM Clinical Hematology 8, DM Hematopathology 8 and DM Cardiac Surgical Intensive Care is 10 and DM Infectious Disease 24. DM Therapeutic Nuclear Medicine 4, DM Hepatology 2, DM Clinical Immunology and Rheumatology 5, DM Acute Care and Emergency Medicine 6, DM Histopathology 3, DM Neuropathology 2 and DM Neuropathology 2 we have discussed, DM Critical Care Medicine and Intensive Care 19, Reproductive Medicine is 2, Medical Genetics is 14, Child and Adolescent Psychiatry is 3, Trauma, Anesthesia and Acute Care 1, Metabolic Medicine or Metabolism Medicine is 1. Cardiovascular Radiology and Endovascular Intervention 12, Forensic Psychiatry 2, Geriatric Psychiatry 1, Hospital Medicine Critical Care 1 and DM Medical and Forensic Toxicology 1, Forensic Radiology and Virtual Autopsy 3 and High Altitude Medicine in DM is 1. So, the total number of seats available for general category is 316 and the sponsored candidates is 130, totally put together 446. DM medical seats are available. Understood? So, when you compare the total number of students giving the NEET SS exam and to the number of seats which are available and total number of students are giving any SS exam to total number of seats that are available, they are proportionately, they are almost same. Understand that? Because the number of students for last two years are giving any SS exams or have been drastically reduced. Okay? Now, DM pediatric. When you see DM pediatric, 
and superficiality courses neonatology 19 and uh, pediatric nephrology 5, cardiology 4, neurology 3, uh, pulmonary and intensive care is 4 and pulmonology is 2, critical care pediatric is 10, pediatric oncology 10, hematology 1 and endocrinology 3, gastroenterology and hepatology 1, anesthesia and intensive care 1, clinical immunology and rheumatology 1 and emergency medicine 1. Total number of seats is 65 total and out of that general seat is 42 and sponsor seat is 23. Clear? This is for pediatric. Let us come to MCH. See MCH neurosurgery 57, cardiothoracic and vascular surgery 45, plastic reconstructive surgery 43, pediatric surgery 33, spine surgery 1, urology 40, joint replacement reconstruction 4, trauma surgery and critical care 14, okay, surgical oncology 21, GI surgery 15, head and neck surgery and oncology 10. Breast endocrine general surgery 8, minimal access surgery 10, gynec oncology 11, MCH for cornea, cataract and refractive surgery is 1, pediatric orthopedic is 1, renal transplant 1, vitreoretinal surgery is 1, vascular surgery is 1, hand and microvascular surgery is 1 and MCH sports injury is 1. So, total number of seats available in MCH is 319 and general seat is 254 and sponsored seat is 65. So, this is the total statistics. Okay. So, clear. Now, you have an idea what is that you are interested in and to you are interested superficiality or DM or an MCH. In your category, what are the number of seats are available and again and uh, there is a list in the brochure and which all institute has what? I mean, AIMS has what? Demands has what? And um, Chitatirnal has what? Jipmer has what? And those attachments, I can put into the description under this video. So, you can just click it and look into that of institute wise. Understood? So, this is to tell you in gross, this is the number of seats that are available. So, approximately when you see 319 seats for MCH and uh, 446 seats are available for DM and uh, along with pediatrics around 65. So, totally almost close to 850 seats are available for this exam. So, what I will suggest you is if you have not started it, you have not done anything and I will recommend you either you give this exam and if you give this exam, give with a sincere attempt. That means, at least go through this speciality videos, more focus, if you ask me sir, more focus has to be either in general aspect of, that means in your field branch, that means what you are studying in PG or studied in PG. Now, here the preference has to go for the speciality. The speciality will be the deciding. So, you have to focus for the rest of the days, 15 days, only on your superficiality that you want to do. So, what I will suggest to you is, you go through the videos, you have not started even once, 15 days remaining, just go through the videos once at least. You can definitely complete within full time if you prepare, you can definitely complete within 7 to 8 days or the maximum 10 days. Then give the topic wise test and the grand test of any SS of 80 questions and with that you go to the exam and it will be a sincere attempt. And if you give a sincere attempt, yes, and you attend maximum number of questions, that could definitely make in a change and give you a change. And in case the preparation is also good and the day of examination also good and you have done well and you stand a very good chance to get into the NESS rank list and the institute of your choice and the speciality of your choice. So, multiple exam is the rule that I always used to say that multiple exam you have to give. So, that one exam will be on your favor to your preparation and that exam will click in your favor and definitely you will be able to score well and get a good rank and get into the speciality and the institute where you wanted. So, what I am trying to tell you once again is do not keep on looking on to the neat SS performance. Now, another distraction which could come in is the results. Now, I mean the expected results is on almost on October 15th or 16th and at that point of time little distraction could happen. Now, what I suggest to you is those who are serious enough to prepare for any SS, just do not look into anything. Just go on for another 15 days in the focus of any SS only. Even the neat SS results have come. If the results are good, be happy. If the results are also not in your favor, uh, great results I mean do not get down or do not get rejected. Just keep moving towards the NESS preparation and you give this exam on 28th 
and after 28th, 29th and 30th, yes, 28th is a Saturday, 29th Sunday, you can just keep analyzing what you wanted to do in NEET SS or NESS. So, two exam, a dedicated exam that you should definitely uh, give in. So, NEET SS and NESS, this two exams, NEET SS already you have given, NESS, I mean 28th, if you give a dedicated attempt and 29th, you can sit back and think what you wanted to do and NESS results will also come then definitely you will have a scope where to what to choose. If the NEET SS ranks are good, then definitely you go on to the direction of NEET SS. In SS ranks are good, you go on to the direction of NEET SS. See, I will tell you, I mean exams are different, preparations are different and the background knowledge is different. So, those students who have not performed, in my experience I am telling you, those students who have not done well in NEET SS, not even a decent rank, Yes, they have taken topmost rank. Yes, topmost rank. 1 to 10 or 1 to 5 they have taken and uh, they have gone into the system. There are situations where the students have given any SS and they have not taken a seat and, and they have got a good rank and they tried the NEET SS, they have not done well in NEET SS. So, I mean, I am telling you, it is totally different. So, do not compare your performance with the last exam. Understood? Do not compare your performance with the last exam. Every exam is different and the timeline is different. So, I request you to keep moving along with that timeline and along with that exam that you are up to. So, that will give you better performance and better output. So, I wish you all the best and uh, all the success for NESS and a great preparation ahead for the last 15 days and definitely you can reach out in case you have any doubt on this. So, as a speed team, we are always with you to guide you and help you and support you for this program. And uh, speed has planned for two model exams, our grand exams, NESS pattern in your specialities and also a rapid revision in high yield of the important topics before the exams of NESS. And the, both the sessions will definitely give you an edge for your exam and also session 1, session 2 and session 3 in the app definitely will give you all that you wanted as a resource for the specialty preparation and also for the general federal branch already you have been preparing for NEET SS definitely that will give you a great hand to complete your preparation for any SS and I wish you great preparation and all success okay best wishes to you